Good afternoon, Wheaton Academy, for this week's very special edition of the Community Scoop. We are setting our sights on Winterum 2022, and I'm joined today by my special guest, Mrs. Amy Heavey. Amy, will you introduce yourself briefly, please? Yes. Thank you all again. I am in charge of the Winter M trips here at Wheaton Academy and have loved my job. I've done different aspects of Winter M as well, but especially for 2022, we're very excited for the trips to roll out. Amy, what are we hoping to accomplish here in this community scoop today? We have a lot of things to go over, so buckle your seatbelts. We're going to talk about a little bit of the details of Winter M, our prices, the timeline, and then go through all the trips for you. Great. Yeah, why don't you start us off just like general overview and some of the details of what we're talking through today. Great. So even though it's May, you're going to think we are running our winter room in 2022 for the dates of January 3 to 14. And like we said, our goal is to travel. We are doing domestic trips. Again, things may change, but we're going to roll out a couple of those things for you today. You will see on each of these slides, we have a price written. Now, this may not be absolute give or take a couple hundred dollars on both ends, um, but they're a basic idea for you to think about planning and saving and working for the trips coming. With the mission trips, you are able to raise funds. For, as far as our timeline, we are hoping to roll out registration within the second or third week of school in August, so be ready and looking for applications when they roll out then. Now, we're giving this information to you, Wheaton Academy, to begin planning and so you have an idea of what we are thinking we did make a difficult decision but we think a prudent one to keep trips domestic that is to the united states next year not knowing what the international travel guidelines or restrictions will look like and we also know just given what we've all been through the past year year and a half we need to hold these plans loosely Part of the reason that we decided to delay the rollout of trips was so that we could buy as much time as possible before really nailing down details like we will in the fall. That means if there are any new guidelines that come through over the summer, we'll take those into consideration as we roll out trips in the fall. And just to reiterate something that Mrs. Heavey said, the prices that we have posted here are subject to change. Part of the reason that we didn't even include the trip leader names associated with these trips is because we know those may be subject to change. We know a lot's gonna happen in the next few months here. And all we're seeking to accomplish today is to give you an initial bit of information so that you can begin to plan and maybe save over the summer, knowing that these trips are gonna be rolled out in the fall when we come back to school and hit the ground running. So you should expect to be hearing more about this in the second or third week of school so we can begin fielding applications and nail down trip rosters. All right, we're at that point, we're gonna start going through each of the trips. Mrs. Eva is gonna start us talking through our missions and service trips. Thank you. We have three to offer you this year. We're first going to Houston, Texas. This is working in the mission centers of Houston, mainly with the Hispanic community. The next one we have is to San Francisco. This is a trip with a travel company called Joshua Expeditions, and we'll be serving local communities there with certain needs, anything from evangelism, homeless ministry, construction, or cleaning. Our last trip is also a trip we're doing with Joshua Expeditions, and similarly, we're going to be serving um, the lower income population, homeless, refugee, construction, and even some work with children's ministries as well. Fantastic. I'm going to talk through our whole series of adventure trips. So that's next up in our uh, category of trip offerings, and boy, do we have some really exciting things that we're going to be talking through here. Uh, we can flash that first trip up. Yeah, the first one is called Are You Shreddy for Utah? And so this trip is going to be uh, camped out in Park City. There will be a skiing element, but also a service element to the trip as well. Um, so for this one, you got to be up for hitting the slopes and uh, doing some downhill skiing. Next up is our Colorado Go West Young Man trip. This is one that we've run before, and this is targeted specifically for the young men in the school uh, with a discipleship element, some life skills training, in addition to getting on the slopes and the beautiful resorts in Colorado and doing some downhill skiing there as well. 
Next up is our Sail Caribbean trip. As a counterpart to the Go West Young Man trip, this trip is an offering for the young women in the school and um, really a op great opportunity to connect as a community uh, to sail the waters of the Caribbean and do some life skills training there as well. Also with a focus on uh, a deep dive study into the Bible and um, yeah, a time of uh, wonderful connection with the group of girls that will be going on the trip. Exploring the U.S. National Parks. This will be a swing out west to explore some of what this country has to offer as far as natural beauty goes. And uh, we'll end with um, just a beautiful overview of the Grand Canyon and uh, some other amazing uh, parks and landmarks out west. Next up is Alaska. Now, Mrs. Evie, Alaska in January. It's <laughs> what, going to be what, amazing. What are we thinking here? Uh, we're thinking bundle up. Get ready and go sledding with dogs. Yeah, dog sledding, uh, some uh, just exploration of some of the beautiful natural sites in Anchorage, Alaska, uh, potentially northern lights. I mean, it, it, it can't be that much colder than what we're going to be experiencing here in Chicago, right? No, they say there is actually quite a wide range of temperature. But we've done Iceland in years past, and everyone came prepared. I never heard complaints because the sights and sounds similar to Alaska were just as amazing. That sounds awesome. Although adventurous, right? You gotta have an adventurous spirit to yeah, go. Yeah, you gotta last be ready. January, prepped goodness. with the right gear. Um, next category of trips are, will be our educational trips. Mrs. Eve will talk us through those. Wonderful, thank you. Yes, we have five educational trips for you. Starting with the very opposite of Alaska is Hawaii. We'll be going into Honolulu, experiencing the Hawaiian culture, traditions that they have there, some hiking on Waikiki Beach, a lot of history um, that is in Hawaii as well. Going to be gorgeous. The next one we have is the Civil Rights trip, and that is going to different states in the South, and that is a trip to engage in some dialogue and some hands-on experience with the people of our civil rights movement in the past. The next one we have is our marine science trip to Florida. This will also be incredible. You're exploring it through marine biology, canoeing, kayaking, snorkeling, shark tagging, and even some marine life education as well. The next one we have is one we offer every year. It's our collab between a week class in our week class, week of a class, and a week of a trip to Washington, DC. The class is here on site, taught by a Wheaton Academy teacher and then you take the trip the next week to Washington, D.C., and this goes towards your government class credit. Our last one we have here is the New York City Broadway and Culture Trip. I'm really excited about this one because I love Broadway. This one, you will be able to see a couple Broadway shows. We're going to be touring some museums there and even some possible acting workshops. Fantastic. Thank you, Mrs. TV. And I, I realized I got so captured by Alaska that I missed highlighting a trip we flashed the slide could we put that slide back up really quickly here fishing in north georgia uh, this would be for uh, boys and girls uh, interested in exploring some of the wildlife some of the nature uh, that north georgia has to offer with a specific emphasis on uh, fishing skills and connecting as a community um, abroad in north georgia there so anyway that's the last trip we have some exciting offerings for next year. We are so thrilled with what's come together. Like I said, we'll be revealing more details like who's leading each of the trips come fall, but this is just an initial offering, initial idea of what's coming. And if you have any questions at any point between now and the end of the school year, do not hesitate to reach out to me or Mrs. Heavey. You can find our email addresses on our school's website. Mrs. Heavey is also here every Thursday, all day. So if you want to try to catch her in person, that would be the day to do it. And uh, yeah, hope you have a great afternoon, Wheaton Academy. Thanks so much for your attention. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.